remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Senator Bernie Sanders has been gaining popularity all year long. Now it appears that the hard work of he and his team is finally paying off because he's in a virtual tie with Joe Biden for the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination among registered Democratic voters. Can you feel the burn? The online poll, which was released on Thursday, shows that 20% of registered Democrats and independents said that they would back Bernie. Now, he is leading a pack of 11 other Democrats. Another 19% supported Joe Biden. 12% said that they would vote for Senator Elizabeth Warren. 9% backed former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg and 6% said that they would support Pete Buttigieg, the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Who's your pick if you got a pick at all? <laughs> Ooh, man, the pickings are thin. Pickings are thin. But something must be done. We have a maniac in the Oval Office. A maniac with no brainiac at all. The dude is a doter, a, a dusty old man who sits around eating lard all day long. I bet he's sitting in, in, in the bathroom right now. He over in the Oval Office right now, sitting on the toilet, eating some sneakers. Probably got a piece in one hand and a snicker in the other hand. And got some chocolate milk on the floor. And a gallon, one of them gallons that you pick up like that. <laughs> Here's what's crazy about this, y'all. Bloomberg has spent, get this family, a quarter of a billion dollars so far on his campaign. That's what's reported. Typically, it's inflated, but I got to see it to believe it. But this man has spent a reported $250 million trying to buy the campaign, trying to buy the office of president. We're not trying to buy it. He's not trying to buy it. He's just trying to get his advertisement out there. Nah, he's trying to buy the Oval Office. It's been said many times that America is for sale. See, and here's the deal, family. Y'all know how it goes. We don't vote for who we think the best candidate is, the best person, the best qualified person. We vote for who we think will win. That is the way Americans vote. Americans, to me, are just not a very smart group of people. Like collectively, when I look at other countries, and I've been to a lot of different countries, and I just think that they're smarter than Americans. You know, a lot of people in America think just because America got might and a bunch of money that America is smart. Americans are smart. Smarter than everybody else. They're not. America is one of the few countries that goes backwards uh, in society. Society is supposed to go forward. Societies are supposed to go forward. America is one of the few societies that goes backwards. Hard-headed, does the same, make the same mistakes over and over and over again in regards to uh, race, the economy. When you start talking about, um, you start talking about the environment, you know, climate change, just going backwards, just constantly repeating the same mistakes. That's what America does. So Americans collectively is not very smart to me. It's, it's, and, and it's not just the people that's in office, it's the people that elect them, that put them in office. Because the people that put these people in office has to take the majority of the blame. 
it's one thing for a damn fool to say, I'm going to run for president. For a damn fool to run for president and win, that means it took a whole lot of damn fools to put him in office. A whole lot of damn fools had to vote for him. Think about what I'm saying. That dude, Donald Trump, is their leader. Think about what I'm saying. The dude is dumb. He's uncouth. No class, Charlie Brown. Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei called him a clown, to which Trump replied on Twitter, of course. The so-called Supreme Leader of Iran, who has not been so supreme lately, has some nasty things to say about the United States and Europe. Their economy is crashing and their people are suffering. He should be very careful with his words. Sounds like to me Trump should take his own advice. The economy is crashing and its people are suffering. Sounds like the United States to me. Ali Khamenei also condemned Trump in the United States for the deadly drone attack against their top Iranian general. He said, the villainous United States government repeatedly says that they are standing by the Iranian people. They lie. If you are standing with the Iranian people, it is only to stab them in the heart with their venomous daggers. Sounds like to me, Mr. Khamenei knows something. Family bottom line, this dude got to go. I need you to say it with me. Anybody but Trump. Anybody but Trump. Anybody but Trump. Anybody but Trump. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.